Uh, hi. I heard salt. I don't know. We're done getting that for now. I know. That's for sure. We are high today again. It's crazy. The rest of the show is just gonna be high. Yeah. No more wine episodes. Nope. I think the next episode we're filming is the Christmas episode. <gasps> so we get pumped for that next week. But this week, we. If you can't tell. Yeah, I hear you introduce. Oh shit! Welcome to Jenny of the Spoon Folk. No, no, no. Are we? What ha We're not doing that. I guess we don't need this anymore. <laughs> this is the only time that I know what this is because I had to get my my birds aren't real shirt. It's just the birds work the bourgeoisie. Yeah, they do. So clearly, this episode is birds aren't real. And yes, we bought a flag specifically for this episode. We bought a flag. We got stickers, shirts, so hats. Hat. Yeah. We're gonna hear. We're gonna hear about this guy. So yes, get ready. I don't think you're ready. Are you ready? No. Oh, sucks for you, we're gonna go! Okay. Let's go. In 1947, the CIA was founded and purposed mostly around the government's need to watch out for American communism. This lookout effort went on for almost five years until it became abundantly clear in the early 1950s that the threat of communism was only going to rise. The government, in turn, likely needed a broader system to track individuals involved in communist activity. Okay, recap. Yes. CIA? Is 1947. Not Sure. Right. CIA, maybe, uh, is, <laughs> maybe. is has, has a problem with communism. Yes. Who and, doesn't? Yeah, I know. Communism sucks. I'm just kidding. Communism will be better. Um, uh, <laughs> CIA is like, we need some technology. We need to, some surveillance. Okay. Got it? Got, Got it. it. Yes. This need, many speculate, led to one of the most popular conspiracy theories out there currently, that birds aren't real. And that's what we're going to talk about today. Heck Yeah! Hell yeah, Heck birds yeah. aren't real. Birds are they real. are not. Bird no. watching goes Decided. both ways. End of video. <laughs> there is nothing more. Cut the credits. <laughs> Goodbye. This need only continued to develop come Julius and Ethel Rosenberg being arrested and convicted of espionage against the United States, accused of spying on behalf of the Soviet Union. This highly publicized event gave the government a small window to implement a new program that would place the first CCTV surveillance cameras in areas with high Russian immigrant concentration. So they're putting cameras up already. Okay. We know this This is all true so far. Yes. Not, it's always true. This whole video is this, true. Yeah. Obviously. All of this video is true. Birds real. aren't real. They're not. I'd like to point out we're actually filming with birds today. What? <laughs> <laughs> it was gonna be a joke. <laughs> I, I oh. it. This went on for a few years or so when in 1953 Alan Dulles was made the first civilian director of the CIA. He made it his mission to ramp up the surveillance program, hiding cameras in thousands of locations and ordering his staff to plant them in areas that would be impossible to detect. You could say he's evil, technically, okay. but I'll let you decide that because he does some I shit, mean, technically. His, his hairline's already already in gym clothes or the, the not great. I think you're going to be pleasantly surprised with the, the stuff that he might do. At a Geneva conference meeting, Soviet Premier Nikolai Bulganin in 1955, U.S. President Eisenhower proposed the United States and Soviet Union conduct surveillance overflights with each other's territory to reassure each country the other was not preparing an attack. However, these fears and suspicions of the Cold War led Soviet General Secretary Nikita Khrushchev to reject Eisenhower's proposal. Good job. Khrushchev is a fun name. I love saying I, I recorded that multiple times. I was like, Khrushchev, <gasps> Khrushchev, Khrushchev. Crucial. While this went down in history as a defeat on part of the USA security, it is easy to see potential frustration from Eisenhower. He and Dulles knew the possibilities for this camera program were endless, and within the year, Dulles met with President Eisenhower and potentially proposed a plan that would put cameras in the sky. I like his attitude. Yeah, that's not a real direct quote, just so everyone knows. I don't want that to be misconstrued. He did not say that. They didn't say anything that's about to be in this conversation, but... um. I, I like I like the attitude regardless. The idea is they met up the next um, mm -hmm. year, okay. which we already know is true. They, they met up in 90 or 55, um, okay. and we don't really know the conversation. It's, they've mm -hmm. met up a ton of times, so who knows? Maybe this conversation Ooh. could have happened. 
Eisenhower had already lost the conversation at the Geneva Conference, but the frustration of this was what led many to believe that the CIA under Eisenhower's ruling secretly began replacing birds with billions of sophisticated robot lookalikes capable of mimicking real birds in every way. <laughs> yeah, we okay. jump, we jump okay. right into Let's this. Let's recap. Let's do it anyways. I think you're so okay. Let's kill a bunch of birds! <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's obviously what happened. Those exact, yes. This is factual. This is factual. Oh yeah. This would maintain certainty that the Soviet Union would not find out. However, this isn't the end of the historical discussion. 34 years later, the open skies concept was reintroduced by US President George H.W. Bush as a means to build confidence and security between all NATO and Warsaw Pact countries. And on March 24, 1992, the Open Skies Treaty was signed in Helsinki by U.S. Secretary of State James Baker and foreign ministers from 23 other countries. This treaty entered into force on January 2, 2002, after Russia and Belarus completed ratification procedures. So, they signed the treaty. Oh my god, our neighbors. Our neighbors. Fuck the dog. <laughs> no, actually, your dog is super cute if you see this. If you see this, your dog's cute. If you don't see this, your dog sucks. <laughs> so fucking loud it's so all the time. Where are we? <laughs> treaty was signed many years later, 30 years later. Yes. But the idea is that the birds have already been. Stir. They're eliminated. They, they have been replaced. Gone. While this could prove against the idea that birds work for the bourgeoisie, I think... <laughs> that the birds work for the bourgeoisie. I just snuck it in there. And actually, I was just writing the script, and it just kind of worked its way in there. I was like, oh, great. So it just flows very well. While this could prove against the idea that birds work for the bourgeoisie, I think it's more likely that it reflects that the government wants to leave no suspicion that birds aren't real, with countries and civilians it constantly stalks. This would be the perfect and successful cover-up for the U.S. government. To follow that, in 2002, USA successfully flew its quote-unquote first open skies mission over Russia. That being said, it is widely speculated that this is just a cover-up for surveillance that has already lasted almost 50 years at this point in time. Over Russia, they flew like a plane, okay. and they were like, we finally did it. We finally got, after 50 years, we got the open skies through. Mm -hmm. But the realists out there know that they've already been doing this shit. Just not with planes. Or with birds. However, due to this potentially near-perfect cover-up, no one was considering the possibility of this being a much deeper surveillance until 2017, when Peter McIndoe, an English and philosophy major at the University of Memphis and Tennessee, went live with Birds Aren't Real at his city's Woman's March. Peter McIndoe, my man! Oh, yeah, Peter! Peter McIndoe is exposing the truth. Yes, he is! <laughs> he is doing the work of the people! He's doing the work of God. <laughs> yes, he is. I hope Peter sees this. <laughs> Me too. Peter, I really hope you see this. I hope we blow up by now. Yeah. And Peter gets to see this lovely video. I think you'd be happy with the way we are honoring him in this. I praise you, Peter. You and Nigel, my man. <laughs> <laughs> We're right yes. next to each other. We right love there. him. We love him. Yes, we do. Wake up, America! Wake up! God! God! Birds are real! Suddenly and immediately, this sensational idea was brought to the world's view, and it went completely viral. A campaign called Bird. They stare at you Birds are like a lot. Right? Sorry, I gotta Google this. Robot bird. People are also Robot. saying that birds are real. I've wasted an entire career working on birds that might not be real. <laughs> Many in support of this theory know it may seem extreme, but with new reports talking about increased surveillance by governments every couple of weeks, this claim definitely has some serious merit on a large scale level, and Mekendo isn't joking. You have no excuse now! You're seeing this! Kitchens are liars! The birds know your social security number! I love him! I love Kitchens are liars! My <laughs> <Our> poor neighbors. <laughs> I love Peter. I do love Peter. I don't like the neighbors. Or you don't. The neighbors are okay. <laughs> I, in case they see this, you're okay. <laughs> you're okay. <laughs> you're okay. You can, you can work with your dog. You survive. Fuck. Okay. <laughs> okay. Wait. That might have been outside. 
<laughs> All right, we need to stop talking. No more talking. McIndoe didn't break character once during his 30 minute long interview with Audubon. He defended the movement's legitimacy mainly by proselytizing what birds aren't real isn't. Quote, the thought that this could be used to make a satire of a dark intense time in American culture, I find those things to be baloney, McIndoe says. McIndoe's movement got a free jolt of publicity on October 30th, 2018 after Chicago-based journalist Robert Lorzel tweeted a photo of a birds aren't real flyer he found on the street. I, I think, I'm sure they have a wake up Seattle one. They have the, all of them now. We don't live in Seattle. We don't. For anyone, that, for anyone that knows, we don't live in Washington, we don't live in Seattle. No. Wanna where we do live though? Where? The same island that Mila Earhart crashed and then got eaten by crabs on. We, we built our house. I'm her son. <laughs> I'm Amelia Earhart's son. The same flyer also popped up on Reddit numerous times over that past month. The Reddit forum r slash funny has 34.4 million members alone, one of the subreddits where it went viral. Birds Aren't Real currently have an Instagram following of 293,000, a Twitter following of 61,000, and a subreddit that has more than 350,000 members. Fuck yeah. Yes. Birds aren't real. No, they are not. Tell your friends. Yes. We need to tell the world. And subscribe to our channel. <laughs> Turn on notifications. <laughs> it's, it's right there. It's right over somewhere. I had to, I had to get my... Yeah? You got it? Aside. I got it. I got it, guys. Subscribe. Bitches. The Birds Aren't Real website goes much further into the claims that birds aren't real, detailing how and why birds were replaced and what their functions are. While they don't have any evidence to support the vast majority of claims made on their website, it's worth a read. Maybe they know something we don't. So, okay, Birds Aren't Real has this whole um, description of birds mm -hmm. aren't real. Yes. And how they aren't real, why they aren't real, how they were replaced. I didn't put any of it in this video because it's fucking ridiculous. <laughs> But it's okay. hilarious. Okay. It doesn't really work towards the the actual goal of being a realistic thing, mm -hmm. but technically it explains everything. So okay. if you really want some explanation, go check out their website. Birdsaren'treal.com. It's fucking. It's funny. It's a. It's, it's a, a. It's a quality website. It's a hoot. It. <laughs> <laughs> you there. <laughs> Because of this, many people don't believe that this conspiracy has any merit, chalking it up to one of many thoughts. Maybe Mac and Doe was looking for a viral sensation. Maybe Mac and Doe wanted to start some serious conversations about public surveillance. Maybe Mac and Doe wanted to create a hoax to combat the recent stupidity of QAnon conspiracy theories, which were gaining traction at the time. However, the support system around this belief has not let up one bit, with new pamphlets going around, new billboards going up, new social media accounts on a global level, and a 2019 interview with WREG News Channel where Mac and Doe continue to reiterate these claims that birds aren't real. I consider myself to be an average American. I wake up in the morning, wash my car, and I have an avid disbelief in avian beings. <laughs> <laughs> He's so funny. <laughs> I just love him. From 1959 through 2001, the government mercilessly genocided over 12 billion birds and simultaneously replaced them with surveillance drones in disguise that film us every day as equally as these cameras are filming us right now. So this is really satire. I mean, you don't really believe that that happened, correct? This is a satirical uh, campaign to make the point that what? Honestly, it's kind of offensive. <laughs> <laughs> I just, he's so good. He is, he is wholesome. <laughs> Who's to say where this theory will go? But before our final thoughts, it should be mentioned that last month on November 22nd, Trump actually withdrew from the treaty on open skies. This opens up brand new doorways on Trump's affiliation to birds and the CIA, or potentially a handover of birds to other countries, and leaves this theory wide open. This wasn't taken from oh. any website, this was just me bullshitting. <laughs> but like, technically, if we're looking at the timeline, yes. 
the Treaty of the Open Skies has something mm -hmm. to do with the birds. Yes. Whether or not it's directly affiliated or was just a past affiliation, there's something to do with it. There's and something going on. Suddenly, there. literally from our recording only like a week ago, because it was the 22nd. Yes. He pulled out. Very suspicious. Yeah. His parents should have pulled out. Yeah. <laughs> Until we hear more, this theory remains just a theory, and a theory that should be discussed while genuinely intoxicated. Here are our final thoughts. Rock on! Yes! Alright, camera time! Let's go! Okay, I gotta scoot over, so I'm actually in this. Final thoughts! I have to cough, I really must have taken a bigger hit. What is this? I don't know. You weakling. Your lungs are trash. Probably are. I've been getting high more lately. Yeah. Because of this dumb project. We're doing this to ourselves for you. Yeah. Internet. Yes. You better love us. You made us this way. <laughs> when in doubt, leave all your problems on the government and the internet. It's a pretty Pretty much just this episode in a nutshell. Yeah. That was. A <gasps> I had a final thought during final thoughts. Yeah, you. Full circle, full circle. <laughs> it's the dance. <laughs> Hi. What do we want to uh, tell the audience about birds? I um, mean, we all know they're not real. Obviously, like, that's a given before even watching this, like. Yeah. If you thought birds were real before this, you really need to get with the program. Yeah. Come on. Give we're, it the time. You should be thanking us. Yeah. For sharing this very important knowledge with you. This is an educational program. It really is. We are, we are informing the public. Yeah. Birds aren't real. COVID is a bio bio weapon yeah. and water makes people gay. Yeah, all three very well-known true facts. Yeah, they're facts. They should use us in like high schools. Yeah, I want to be on the History the Channel. Yeah. All we're doing is getting a few hundred likes on TikTok and like hope it's for the best. I still think that they should use the, these videos in schools to educate kids. Yeah. I think we could have such a great influence on kids. Wait, 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 wait. Imagine, imagine walking into a class, you're in like fourth grade, and it's one of the days that you see the TV monitors you know out, it's gonna be and a you're like, day. it's a video, it's a video, and then they put this shit on. You're like, whoa, yeah. I want to be them. I want to get high and drunk all the time in fourth grade. I didn't know what getting high was until I was old, because we're both that was, 21. Yeah. Wrong eye. If that customer who is at my job watches this, fuck you. <laughs> you are a dumbass Republican. All right, strong opinions. You got oh, a man. I, I, I feel like I know his name. I can't share it though. You know what? Say his name. No, I can't. Okay, his name's fucking Kenneth. It is? Oh. Wait, is it really? Yeah, his name is what? Kenneth. Kenneth should never be trusted. No. Wait. No, I know what city he lives in. If you take the N out of Kenneth, it's <gasps> Oh! <laughs> Whoa! Fuck, fuck Keith! Yeah! He if there's a Keith in. watching this, just know, you suck! <laughs> and Kenneth, I guess. Yeah. So, okay, some, some, some backup. Actually, our backup is all Keiths suck. Yes. If we have any That is Keith, also a very well-known fact. Yeah, that's a fact. That's going to be on the next episode. <laughs> the next thing is... The holiday person. episode is Keith Suck. <laughs> if your name is Keith and uh, you're watching this video and you're like, I don't suck, leave a comment. I'd love to meet some Keiths that don't suck, but we as have, far as I know... We have very strong tips about that being a As far as I know, all Keiths suck. I've never met a good one. I've never met a good one. When that, when that mother... Signs that birth certificate with that name. I'm sorry, it's not your fault. Yeah, the birth certificate just goes up in flames. The demons rise from the ground. <laughs> you are now a You key. are the chosen one. <laughs> sorry, Keith. <laughs> but but we're not sorry. No. Keith, you, you suck. No, I'm Kenneth, sorry. you won, Kenneth. You suck too. This has nothing to do with birds. <laughs> if you can't visualize what the what birds aren't real is like. I would like you to go watch The Incredibles because they have, they literally have birds aren't real. In yeah. Them. That's the thing. They have birds aren't real. Incredibles. That is, that is proof. That is proof. I agree. It's proof. Okay. 
Pixar, man. Pixar knew the birds weren't real. Pixar knows everything. It was in front of us all along. It was. They were trying to tell us. <sighs> and the world just failed to realize. Wouldn't listen. Until the man happen? that is known as Peter. He came for us. <laughs> and educated us. Peter Mackendo. He is the new Jesus of today's time. Yeah. We really got off. I don't know how long this has been. <laughs> <laughs> oh, we should say something back. We love you. We love you. Hey, neighbors, in case for some reason you're seeing this, we're so sorry for the things we previously said about you. We're gonna fucking murder your dog! <laughs> There's a nice dirt patch hot outside our balcony. Stool. Oh, I'm digging. <laughs> like an uh, animal crossing. Do a little, a little kick on the ground to put it back. Dog's gone. <laughs> okay, we need to be done. Right. This has been a great episode. It has been. But uh, I'm gonna be done. <laughs> Say bye. Oh, um. Ooh, what? Subscribe, like. If you're on TikTok, do whatever TikTokers do. I don't fucking get TikTok. <sighs> Does anyone? I don't think so. All right. Once again, how are you feeling this morning? Didn't wake up high at all? Yeah, I'm fine. Yeah. You didn't get like super, super high, so it wasn't. No, oh, I got Africa. Well, I mean, like, <laughs> pretty high, but not like where we've been higher before. Sorry, this. Tell me. Okay, how are you feeling? I'm fine. I, it was a weird high. Yeah. Um, That high was like significantly different than any high that I've ever yeah, felt. Yeah, I don't know what was up with it. I was in a weird mood yesterday, a mood that I've literally never been in. Yeah. Towards the end of the night, so. But the video was fun. Uh, yeah, the video, it was fun. I think maybe we had so much fun at the video mm -hmm. that we, like, overextended ourselves. And then when it came coming down from the high, mm -hmm. we were exhausted. <laughs> Yeah. Been so and it was set. so late. Oh, that is true. It was pretty it was late. Very late. We filmed late last night. Yeah. Yeah. Well, say goodbye to the camera. <laughs>